boys and girls. Welcome back to day two of our storytelling time here at VBS. So today we're going to focus on another aspect of what makes Jesus a superhero, and that's his ability to tell the truth. And not only his ability to tell the truth, but his ability to tell the truth even when things are hard, even when the truth makes him unpopular. Now, throughout the Bible, there's lots of stories that talk about how popular and engaging Jesus was. People would come from all over to listen to him. We've heard stories of him speaking to thousands of people. We've heard stories of people throwing down their coats and cloaks as he went into the village and so he could walk on those and not walk on the dirt. He was a popular and well-loved person. But also, there's just as many stories about when Jesus made people angry. And the reason he made them angry is because he stood up for what was right. And when he did that, people didn't like it. They didn't want to think that they were doing wrong. They didn't want to know the truth. Today is one of those stories. As we watch this story, I want you to think about the truth. I want you to think about lies. And I want you to watch for both. I want you especially to watch for Jesus. Let's watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's your offering? You need an offering to go into the place of worship. I have this small bird. That bird? Is that a joke? God doesn't accept small offerings. You need to buy a better bird. Well, my mother only gave me a few dollars for lunch. Well, I guess I'll just have to skip lunch. Here's what I'll do. You give me those two dollars in your bird, and I'll give you this better bird. Well, okay, I guess if it's the only way to see God, of course it's the only way to see God. Would I lie to you? Go. People are so easy to trick. The bird I sold her was sick and will probably die before she reaches the temple. <laughs> now I have her bird and can resell it. <laughs> People are so easy to trick. There? Are you trying to go into this fancy church looking like that? <laughs> Disgraceful. You need to buy some of my tools to make yourself look better. Well, that man took all my money so I could buy this offering. I don't have any more clothes or money to buy anything from you. Then you can't go in. You'll have to worship outside with the Gentiles. The Gentiles? Tiles? I don't understand. I'm a Jewish girl. The Jewish people go inside to worship, but since you're dressed like that, you'll have to worship outside with the Gentiles. And you're a child, so I can't let you go inside. Now, go away before you scare away my customers. Excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you could show me where the Gentiles worship. There's a, supposed to be a place around here somewhere. Because I can't go inside. Why can't you go inside? Well, he took all my money so I could buy this offering. And she said I wasn't dressed good enough. And they both said, You're a child! Well, I guess the place you're looking for is right here. I heard a couple of people praying here early, but I told them no move. Because people need food, and I'm here to provide it. Food! I'm so hungry, and that man took all my money. Wait a minute! You expect me to make you food for free? Scram, girl! I only sell food. I only talk to Paying customers. Well, this is a church and I'm hungry. Can't you spare me a little food? Listen here, little girl. I'm here to make money. Of all these fools, 
We're going to the church. I don't care that this is a church. As far as I'm concerned, this is entertainment, and I'm here to provide the snacks. Now, get out. Whoa, did that really just happen? Did Jesus really just flip a table? That is a truth, boys and girls. But there's more to this story, and that's what we want to talk about today. So let me give you some background. Jesus was going to the temple. Now, a temple is a place of worship. It's like our church. It's where you can go and meet God. It's a very important place. And Jesus wanted all of his people to be able to go there. But in the story, you see, something was happening. There was things going on outside the temple. There were lies being told. There were lies being told that were keeping people from what was really important. Lies that were keeping them from God. And Jesus didn't like that. Boys and girls, I have to be honest and I have to tell you the truth. When I was growing up and when I was learning this story, all I focused on was Jesus flipping that table. That's what everyone taught me. Everyone taught me Jesus was just like me. He was a human being and he got mad and he got so mad one day he flipped a table. And you know what? That is the truth. Jesus was a human being. Jesus did get mad and Jesus did flip a table. So none of that is wrong. But as I grew up, and even as I was studying on what I was supposed to teach you guys, God spoke to me, and he reminded me of Colossians 1.15. And in Colossians 1.15, he says that the Son is the invisible image of God. What does that mean? That means that Jesus is the image of God. Jesus is God. And so if we think about Jesus as a superhero, he wouldn't be a superhero like Spider-Man or Batman or Superman who would announce himself. Instead, he's a constant. He's always there. He's always doing right, always loving, always telling the truth. So boys and girls, I want you to watch the story again. And this time, we're gonna take away the invisibility cloak. This time, we're gonna let you see Jesus in the story. This time, you're gonna see what truth looks like. There's a reason Jesus flipped that table. He didn't just get mad. He wasn't the Incredible Hulk. There was a reason, and I want you to see if you can catch it. But before we do that, let's talk about the lies that we just saw. I saw a lot of them, did you? There were so many lies that were told to that poor little girl. All she wanted to do was worship God. All she wanted to do was have an encounter with God. But they told her that she was too poor, that she wasn't offering good things. They told her that she wasn't dressed well enough, that she had to dress up to visit God. They told her she wasn't important enough because she was a child. Boys and girls, if you've ever felt like that, God wants you to know that that is not the truth. He wants you to know that those are lies and he wants to show you the truth. And hopefully you can see it in this story. So let's rewind the story. Let's do it one more time. But this time, let's look for Jesus and look for the truth. That's not true. All God wants is your heart. You don't have to buy him gifts. There's another sucker. The bird I sold her is sick. It will probably die before she reaches the temple. Now I can sell her bird to someone else. People are so easy to trick. Do you know who I am? This is my father's house. How dare you treat the ones I love? Be gone. How dare you talk to her that way? She's beautifully perfect. 
perfect just the way she is. God wants to meet with her just how she is. Go! Did you have an encounter with God today? No. I'm too poor, too young, and too badly dressed. They wouldn't even let me in the door. That's not the truth. It's not the truth at all. God loves you, and he wants to meet with you right where you are. I am the truth. This is not the truth. Come, follow me. How dare you put barriers in front of God's children and the Lord? I will get my children to the Lord, and I will take down any barriers that you have set up. Wow, that's a totally different story when you see why Jesus did what he did. Boys and girls, the truth is, we don't know if there was a little girl, but we do know that Jesus loves each of us the same, and he would have done for any of us what he did for that little girl. The truth is, that day when Jesus got so angry, he had to stand up for the truth. His children were being kept from the temple. His children were being told to look at things other than God. And that's the truth. Now those children could have been young. Those children could have been 99. All people are God's children. And Jesus was here. His only job was to get people to God. As you can imagine, the truth that Jesus told that day made him very unpopular. In fact, after this day, many people started planning how they could hurt Jesus. Jesus did all of this knowing it would make him unpopular. Boys and girls, sometimes the truth is hard. Sometimes it makes us unpopular. And it's sometimes hard to stand in that truth. But Jesus knows that, and he sent us his Holy Spirit to be with us. Remember we talked about Colossians 1.15, how he's the invisible image of God? The Holy Spirit is our invisible part of being God. We get a part of God in our hearts when we accept Jesus. When we stand for truth, we're standing with Jesus. When we do what's unpopular because we know that's what God wants us to do, we're standing with God. Boys and girls, I gave you a lot to think about today, and hopefully you like the story. But here's the most important thing I want you to know, that God loves you. You are perfect the way you are. He loves you whatever you look like, wherever you live, and he also loves you whatever you do. Even in those moments when you might not stand for the truth, God still loves you. He does. Boys and girls, I'm excited that when you go into encounter today, you can really work with God and talk to him about these things. And more importantly, you can hear what he wants you to know about these truths. Boys and girls, I love you all. So good to spend the day with you. I look forward to spending the day next time and telling you another story.